to another video. So you would have just seen that we have just came back from a little outing. Little one's first outing in like a busy place. Usually like we've taken him on a couple of walks to like our local parks and some like fields and things. Um, but yeah, that was the first time that he's been anywhere with like that many people. And Bath can be quite busy. Ooh. Do you want to come and say hi? Oh, come on then, on my lap. Oh yes, oh yes. Bath can be quite busy. It's like a tourist town, so yeah, it can be a little bit mental. Am I boring you? <laughs> but he was really, really good. I was really happy with how he like handled everything. Go see your brother. Go see your brother. Oh, good boy. We took him into Oka to see a few of the ladies in there <laughs> because whenever we go in we always take Ted. He was honestly so good like I didn't know what to expect because he obviously he's a puppy he does get quite excited but no he was great he loves sniffing everything <laughs> which you've got to be a bit careful with um, them when they're that age but yeah he did really well I was very happy with him. So it's officially time to get ready for the new season. I absolutely love the autumn season is probably one of my favourites, I think. It's just a time when you can get cosy and get all like new candles. We're just going to head out in a minute so you can hear a little bit of commotion behind me. So I'm going to go into town in a minute and I've said a couple of times that there's a coffee table that I've had my eye on for probably about four or five months now. I'm one of those people that I stew over like purchases and I really, really evaluate them and make sure that they're like the right thing for me. So yeah, I've been, I'm gonna say this and it's not gonna be there when I get back, but I did speak to the lady in the shop and she did say um, that they had a few available. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look if that's still in store. And if it is, I'm gonna be bringing that home with us. And I'm gonna just bring you around town because this actually looks like it's an okay day today. I'm just gonna bring you along with me today and just show you what we get up to. And yeah, I'm just so excited for the new season. <laughs>
breeze. Okay, so here is the coffee table, finally. Um, I also bought a beautiful new rug as well. So the coffee table I got from Biggie Best and I absolutely love it. It's double layered as you can see and it's a beautiful like solid wood effect. Um, and I just love that you can like pop stuff on the table and also keep the bottom free for like storage and stuff. I also bought this gorgeous rug. This was actually from Denelm. It was the only rug that I could find that was actually like reasonable and massive because I need quite a big one for this room. But I love it. The furniture also sits on it nicely. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with the new buys for the front room. So I am finally sitting down to show you all of the new pieces that I've been buying for the home. You would have seen my new coffee table, which I love, and my new rug, but I really wanted to get this room styled up for the autumn winter, looking seasonal, cosy, inviting, and yeah, just giving it a little bit of a facelift, if I'm honest. This is the space that I spend the most time in around this time of year. Um, I've usually got the fire on. It's not been cold enough yet, in my opinion, to put the fire on. So yeah, I've not done that yet, but I cannot wait to do that. It makes me feel so happy. So I thought that I would share with you all of the new bits of homeware that I've bought. I'll start off with Neptune, which I absolutely love. Do you know what I really love about the Neptune store? When you go in, it feels like you're in like the coziest house ever and you just want to like sit down on the sofa, take your shoes off and, I don't know, get all lush and cozy under a blanket or something. <laughs> it's just lovely in that store, like I absolutely love it. And if I can emulate anything from the experience of being in a Neptune store, that's how I want to feel when I come home. I just want to feel relaxed, cozy, almost like a big hug of a home, if you know what I mean. So I love that store so much. I think the bath store is really special as well. I just love it. So I only bought two things from Neptune. Technically more than two, but two main like items. One being my faux stems, which I have had my eye on for quite a while. I just wanted something to look quite minimal. So I didn't go crazy with like loads of different types of stems. I just wanted to stick to like maybe three different types, make a lovely bouquet, which is seasonal, which looks autumnal. And I think I've done that. I'm gonna be honest, I've had to do two trips because I didn't buy enough in the beginning. So this has turned out to be quite expensive. On reflection, when you look at other stores that I usually shop at, it's around about the same price. So yeah, I'm not too mad about it. So I bought these stems. Um, one being, oh, it's all tangled. One being the faux eucalyptus in this beautiful, almost an aubergine colour, but I absolutely love it. I've had my eye on these for ages and they're quite hard to find this colour, which don't look faux, if that makes sense. These still look really natural and really gorgeous. I just love them. So I bought, I think, four of those. One, two, three. No, I bought five of these. Um, like I said, I had to go back for a few more just to like fill out my vase that um, I've got, I'm going to show you in a minute. And then to complement the purpley aubergine colour of the eucalyptus, I thought this one would be really nice. I think they call this snowberry. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I think that's what they call it. I've got a feeling that this was around about the same price as those. They started from about 14 and went up to about 18, 19 pounds. Um, which I know is a lot for a faux stem. They won't die, which is good, I suppose, and I'm gonna have them forever. I'll bring them out year after year, so now that I've got them, they're really versatile and I can use them again and again throughout the seasons. So yeah, I picked those up. I've had my eye on this item for ages, and when I was thinking about buying the coffee table, I actually bought this before I bought the table, so yeah, that's saying a lot, <laughs> isn't it? So I bought this gorgeous ceramic tray. This one is in the Corinium collection, I think it's called, but I just loved it. I thought against the wood of the table, it would just look lovely. It's got slight, sort of like distressing to the edges. So I've had my eye on this for ages. I've loved it and I finally got my hands on it because it's been out of stock forever. This one was £69. So expensive, but like I said, I'm gonna have it forever and I love it. Yay. God, it's heavy. I also popped into 
Anthropology, which I love around this time of year. They do gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I always get a Christmas mug from them. Um, but yeah, I bought a couple of little bits. Let me just show you. So the first thing I bought was this candle. Now, I absolutely love it. It's like a little acorn and it smells gorgeous as well. I love it, it's beautiful. Now this was quite pricey. It was 34 pounds, which I know is pricey. The quality of the container itself is amazing. And I know that once I've burnt through, I could use this as like a little storage thing. So I got that. I also got, this is so cute. It's a little snuffer for your candles. But it's a pumpkin. How lush is that? So you just little snuff the candles. But I thought, even as like a decor piece, this is gorgeous. But I've been wanting one of these for ages. I've got a Christmas one that's like very festive. Um, so yeah, I thought that's so gorgeous. I can bring this out every autumn um, ready for Halloween season. And yeah, I love it. It's so cute. I absolutely love this. So the other thing that I bought, which I'm obsessed with, are these slippers. Oh, they are so lovely. They are the fluffiest slippers I have. Oh, they're wrong feet. They are the fluffiest slippers that I've ever had, and I love them so much. I think you can't go wrong with a beautiful, beautiful pair of slippers at this time of year. So, yeah, I got these babies. I think they were about £30. Um, but yeah, I love them. I've worn them so much already, and I only got them a few days ago. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. They're so soft, they're so, so cosy. And yeah, I'm just like literally never without them at the moment. So yeah, they're always on my feet. While I was in town, I popped in, I always pop places. I pop here, I pop there, but you know, you know what I mean? I went into Biggie Best, which is, as you know, one of my favorite places. I've bought loads of stuff from Biggie. This is actually the coffee tables from Biggie. Loads of my furniture is from Biggie. I've got a beautiful chair from Biggie Best. I've got cushions, accessories, everything. The ladies know my name, so yeah. Absolutely love it in there. I would strongly recommend. They do some beautiful, beautiful things. The first thing that I got was this gorgeous vase. It's like a stone effect. It's quite heavy, though the quality is amazing. But I just thought with like dried flowers in it, it would just look gorgeous in any room of the house as well. Um, this one was 49.50, so quite pricey, but still, I just think that this would look amazing in any room. Um, it could go anywhere really like the tones look gorgeous and just matches the house really well so that being said when i saw the little sister she's so cute she was 1950 and is exactly the same just like a baby version so my plan is to pop this one on the tray on the coffee table and i just think it will look gorgeous with some dried flowers and yeah i just love it obsessed so i've got the mummy and the baby and then also from Biggie Best, I got these faux flowers. These are going to add to the ones that I bought from Neptune. These were twelve fifty each. I'm not sure what they are to be honest, but I just liked the look of them. I thought the colour tones were really nice. You've got like, you can you see, you've got like the purpley tone in there. I just thought that were flatter all the ones that I've bought previously. So I just think two like statement pieces in the collection would look good. And then finally from Biggie Best, I got this gorgeous woven tray um basket sort of thing i just thought this on the bottom layer of my coffee table with some lovely blankets like folded up and this was 26.50 which i thought was a good price for this because sometimes they can be quite expensive as well so i picked that one up as well from biggie best i can't go into town without going to oka <laughs> it's rude not to and while I was in last, I picked up this vase. Now, I have been obsessed with this for such a long time. It's been on my wish list, and I finally took the plunge and got it for myself. They do this in two different tones. I bought the lighter tone, and they do more of like a tone that was, which actually matches the coffee table. But I just thought this would look gorgeous. Again, it will go in any room of my house as well, which I just thought would be amazing. You could put this just as is, or you could put some stems inside. Um, either really, I just think it's a beautiful piece and it's really unusual. So yeah, absolutely love this. I think I'm gonna pop this in my bedroom. Um, although it could go in here easily, it would look lush. But yeah, I'm really excited to put this in my bedroom to add some autumn vibes.
And the next things that I bought were from an online boutique. I got these pieces from the Suffolk Nest, which is Ashley's store, which I absolutely love. I love following Ashley's journey. I love all of the products that she now sells. Um, she started off doing like floristry tutorials, which I've watched. I've bought Christmas wreaths from Ashley. And yeah, she just does the most beautiful, beautiful things. So if you've not checked her out yet, definitely go and have a look. Let me move these out of the way so I can show you properly. Um, but yeah, I ordered a couple of bits. I could have ordered more to be honest, but everything I liked kept going out of stock. <laughs> so I just got what I could. Um, let me show you. Came in like quite a few boxes, but I opened them up and just like condensed them down into a few. So the first thing that I picked up, ooh, which have fallen out, were these gorgeous like dried flowers. I love these. They're almost like little baby daisies <laughs> but they're gorgeous I love them I think styled up in this pot I just thought that would look really good on the coffee table so I got these they were really reasonable for dried flowers as well so I'm obsessed with those let me grab the other thing that I got from the other box now this I don't really know what it is <laughs> but I just thought it was interesting and it would add just something different to the house and the room and I love how it adds like a natural feeling as well to when you're like styling an area. And the dogs are really like inquisitive of this and I caught Max like nibbling at this end bit but <laughs> I really like it and yeah this one again from Ashley at the Suffolk Nest. And the other thing that I got oh, is really heavy but I've had my eye on this vase for ages. I've loved the look of it. And then when I saw that Ashley did it on her site, I literally snapped it up straight away. It is this, it almost looks like it's wooden. Um, I thought that it would be a wooden vase when it came. It's not, it is um, like stone, but it's just gorgeous. I love the colors. And I'm gonna use this for all of the faux stems that I've bought. So yeah, I cannot wait to style this up. So yeah, I love that. So that's all that I bought from Ashley's shop. I can't wait for Ashley to release the Christmas wreaths that she does because I bought one last year and I had the best, best time making it. It was absolutely ginormous as well. I also got this Lush book. Now I've, I have had my eye on this book for about a year <laughs> and I've never ever treated myself to it. Um, but I'm really glad that I did because I want to just put this on the coffee table but just like open on a page. Um, I love this book. I've had a flick for already and I'm like obsessed with the imagery. Hello Ted. Like for example, like how lovely is that? They've got, it's basically, the book's about the horses in Iceland so it's purely like a photography book. <laughs> but it's absolutely stunning. Like, can I just take a minute? Oh, don't break the book. How gorgeous is that? Just like open on the table. I just thought that would look lush. And yeah, I love horses as well, which is a bonus. <laughs> so I got that as well from Amazon. These are beautiful. I'm obsessed with them and these are actually from my garage and it's just a little reminder to everyone to actually look through all the stuff you already have because you could find absolute gems that you forgot you had. Now these were in my box for my wedding and I had about a million candlesticks all similar to this but these were the most like antique looking but in the run up to my wedding I collected any candlestick that I could find. I tried to do most of the styling myself. We had help on the day, which was amazing, but like the look and feel of the wedding I wanted to do myself. So I had to get a hell of a lot of stuff. <laughs> and most of my days off at the time were spent going to charity shops or antique shops buying candlesticks. So yeah, I found these in my wedding box and I'm so happy I did because I think that they are gonna look gorgeous in the living room. So I think I'm just gonna get this all styled up and in place and I will show you the result <laughs> and I hope you enjoy.
If I could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah, he would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home today's video i hope you really enjoyed getting the living room ready for the autumn season with me i literally can't wait for the next few months i've got so many lovely plans to take you along on so if you haven't already please remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future videos with me